This is how I've been spending most of my evening. Let me show you. computer with Microsoft support for over two hours because um, I was trying to keep my files that are on this desktop um, but uh, there's something about these Acer uh, computers that they seem to get st stuck in this loop so you know, we tried everything. The guy that was helping me, his name was Edwin. You know, we just <clears throat> were like on a chat. So, um, it was very nice, you know, like just through chat, you can tell if somebody's like really trying to help you. So that was cool. And we went through a lot of different things, but at the end of it, <clears throat> he was like, do you wanna, you know, get on this computer period and I was like yeah because I pretty much like streaming on the computer uh, as opposed to on an app so um, he said well you're gonna lose your files but we tried a couple different ways to get them and I could never get them so that's what I'm doing it's at 27%. Have you ever had to reset a computer or a laptop? Um, and did it take <clears throat> like hours and hours and hours like this? Because <clears throat> I started talking to him um, on the chat. Like it was like about 6 p.m. And the time is currently 12, 12 a.m. So, but it's resetting, it's at 27%. So, that is how I am spending my Thursday evening. I have a frame that I need to put artwork into, and I have a few contenders here one of the things that I'm gonna do to help me figure this out is I have this border <laughs> that I've taken out so this frame can go either horizontal or vertical so this is gonna narrow this down based on what will fit inside this area right here so I already can see that some things are not going to fit but let's look at our contenders to go into this frame first we have uh, my meet the artist uh, I guess this is you know sort of one of the um, I'm just noticing this <laughs> right here. I must have got something on that. Uh, but this is when I was in an ex um, exhibit at the library I used to work at a long time ago. Uh, but it's called Meet the Artist. It's a annual exhibit. Um, so let's let's try this one out. And as you can see, <laughs> uh, there's no way I can get like all of this into here so this one is a no for the frame my sort of self portrait here okay let's look at this and see um, well it does fit I can make it fit I mean it's gonna miss some of the picture um, so but but it is a contender it is a contender, so we'll keep that one um, as a maybe. Okay, this is the next one. Um, 
I actually saw this print on a TV show and I looked everywhere for it and I finally found it and I printed it out. So let's see if this one will work and it will not because it is missing uh, a lot of the text and everything and I don't want to cut this off at all. So this one also a no. I still got that one in, in contention. All right, here we are over with uh, our guy with the um, extreme facial features, which I love this picture because instead of being ashamed of our, you know, black people, our extreme features, I wanted to accent it. And that's why I did this piece. Um, this guy's lips are huge. Uh, but I think this is a beautiful photo. It could work. Um, I will be cutting out some of the detail. But it is a contender. So we're going to put those two <laughs> and see uh, what can happen. Of course, with all of these uh, pieces of art that I've done, my original artwork here, I want to keep everything intact. Okay, okay, next we have Leonardo da Vinci. Um, I should know what this is called. I'll have to do some research and put it on the screen. But I love this. And I already know that this will fit. So let's see how it looks. Yeah, it would. It would totally work. So, it's a contender. All right, next we have these two. And there's just a little uh, sort of very uh, variation in the color. This one is more of a blue. This one is more of a black and a little bit darker. So, let's see if this will work. Definitely will work. Or even if I do it this way, it might work. You know, same for this. So, definitely a contender to end up into the frame. We got two more left. Here we go. <laughs> I already know I'm gonna, might say no to this be, just because I want to get the whole picture. This is my great nephew um, uh, Israel and <laughs> we call this uh, Israel and the bubbles uh, as you can see uh, I took this picture a while back Israel is is man I don't know how old he is now maybe uh, about mm, seven or eight <laughs> uh, don't don't get me uh, Tamika anyway um, Let's see how this looks. Oh man, this will work. Especially if I just want to do Israel and the bubbles. We got the bubbles right here. Um, that will totally work. Of course, it's gonna it's not getting all of the all of the picture, but I do like the composition. I, I love the fact that it's black and white. And I don't have any black and white photography up of my own so uh, this being one of my pictures this has jumped into first place <laughs> so Israel I think it, that it's gonna be that but we have one more and I already can tell you that this one's not gonna work because I have to get this whole thing this is the Blues Music Awards and as you can see it's already cutting off parts of the picture so these are all things that I want to frame eventually but I have to get frames that will actually uh, match the proportions of each of these pictures. So I think, drum roll please. <laughs> it's going to be Israel and the bubbles going into this frame right here. So I will show you that after I get it framed up. I'm in um, Indianapolis, 
visiting my family, my mom, my brother, my niece, nieces. Uh, I'm here for it's kind of a birthday trip. My birthday is in a few days. Uh, what number you don't need to know, uh, <laughs> but it is my uh, birthday is coming up, and my brother. We were born on the same day, 15 years apart. So I got to see him yesterday and his family. Um, my nephew uh, and um, you know family members. Um, so it's been a good trip. Just basically hanging out with my mom. So watching movies. We watched um, The Equalizer 3. That was really good. Um, <laughs> lots of little babies around. One in particular who sleep on the bed behind me. But having a good time. Leaving tomorrow. Um, my birthday is Thursday. Today is Monday. So, more to come. <clears throat> Just sitting here watching YouTube. I think when I last showed you this picture of Israel and the bubbles that I am reframing, I had it in a different frame. Um, I can show you it was it was actually I was going to use this frame, um, but now that I have uh, I switched the one that was here um, with this one. And I like this frame a little better. I think this picture, even though it's black and white, it has like tones of gray and green in it, in the black. So I think uh, for the simplicity of the picture, it will go better with this frame. So um, let me show you how this will look. I tell you, man, being a YouTuber is definitely interesting. But what I want, I want to definitely keep the bubbles in the frame because that's the main point of the of the picture. And I want to keep all of this little guy. This is Israel. This is my great nephew. I definitely want to keep him in the frame. So if I do it like that, you know, just cut this part off. And we get Israel. We get the bubbles. I like the juxtaposition of the the extra set of feet here, here, and here. Uh, I love the fact, um, let me get in a little close on this, because there's some details on this that I really love that I didn't know when I was taking the picture. I love how <laughs> his t-shirt, not only is it on inside out, but it's backwards. You see the label right there. And I just love that uh, look on his face. as He's looking up like, dude, what are you doing? Like. I'm trying to enjoy my bubbles, like, leave me alone. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I get from this picture. You know, it's like, who are you? Why, why are you? Why are you bothering me? I'm trying to, I'm trying to play with the bubbles. But yeah, I'm going to put this in here and um, got to clean the glass. 
I'll show you what that looks like. And then for the one in here, I'm gonna um, get this one framed also. And I don't think I'm gonna have a glass over it uh, since this is an acrylic painting. Uh, that one is photography, so the photography one, I do want glass over it. This one, um, I will just present it like this and we'll get that hung. Uh, also, I hung this one up, which I've had for a long time. This is another drawing I did with colored pencils, if you can see that. Um, so I decided to put this one here and then that one over there. I'm gonna move and hang right above it. They both have this sort of green, the green of this frame and the green that is in that picture, I think will look nice together. Or I'll end up putting Israel in the Bubbles above this one. I haven't decided yet. I'm gonna try them both and see which one looks the best. I made my markings on here in pencil of where I need to cut. Doesn't have to be too exact, but when you're cutting um, something out for a photo that you want to use, make sure that you cut on the outside edge. Uh, if you cut on the inside edge, you do run the risk of cutting into your picture. You know, just um, to avoid that, just cut on the outside edge. So, so again, like I said, I messed up already, but I want to stay right up against this ruler or this edge. This glass table is really more or less, I use it for my projects. So, you know, I can also use it for dining, but you know, I rarely have company over, so <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, for me uh, but yeah if anybody's wondering you know why I'm cutting on the table that's why see what you're doing. And always be careful not to cut yourself. Because even the way that I'm doing this, this could go up here and, and I could end up cutting myself. got this this is cut to the right size and I am going to use a little bit of uh, I'm just going to put some tape on the back of here on the four corners uh, to make sure that I get this mounted uh, exactly where I need it and it should be like right about here I don't want to see any of the white I also want to pick up the very bottom of his shoe and the bubbles. So I think, yeah, about like that. You can see there's still a little bit on the edge, but I'm not worried about that because this is going to be attached to this. So it's going to go into the frame. I'm going to get it framed up. I need to clean the glass like I told you earlier, and then I'll show you how it's done with that. Today is my birthday, so I am... Anyway, 
I'm going to be taking you along with me on my day. Stop looking back there. Why are you looking? I'm going to be taking you with me. Um, let me get dressed. Starbucks and get some get some coffee. It is about 10:30. Kind of slept in today. Been getting some birthday wishes, but I need that coffee. So let's go to Starbucks. I am on my way to Starbucks. When I go there, I usually just get a caramel latte. So, just gonna walk up there today on the BD. <laughs> so, interesting fact, it's also my brother's birthday. We were born 15 years apart, so, I feel like I should do this in a more official way, but since this is going to be a uh, worldwide happy birthday, Sean, my brother, my twin, 15 years apart. Love you, bro. Shit. <laughs> Have a great day. <laughs> Almost tripped. All right. Starbucks uh, on Longwood and, and today is first day of holiday. We have all the holiday drinks yeah. and my favorite chestnut prelude. Okay. Right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm just gonna get my, my regular and uh -huh. yeah, just having a good day. I'm on vacation. Uh-huh. The weather is not bad. Yeah, weather's and good. See, uh, you know, I was looking like it's not bad today, even when I was putting the, the stuff in the window. Yeah. I was like, it's not frozen, so I'm glad and stuff because usually you'd be like, this ain't working. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna hit you up. I got your card. Okay. So I'm gonna uh, give you like the link to okay. the video so you okay. can see it. Okay, like all right. Said, I want to include on Okay, you stuff. got my cell phone number still in there, don't you? You got sure. it when you had dinner. Let me make sure I got. Uh, you gave us dinner that day. You be cooking too and, and showing them on the YouTube? Yes, I do, I do cooking too. That's that's yeah, that's yeah. Like today I'm making a um, uh, steak. Okay. So let me, me a Della seven oh. It's. Let me just see if I got your name in here. I got Della. I love steak, meat and well. Yes. Yeah. That's me. That's you. Uh huh. Okay. So okay. I'll, I'll send you a link to the video okay. once I post it. It'll, it'll probably be. Uh, I usually do Sunday or Monday. Uh huh. So. Okay. Uh, but I'll let you know. All right. Thank you. That's good. All right. Have a good day. Uh, I want to get a caramel 
latte, uh, grande hot. Grande hot caramel latte? Yes, please. Anything else for you? That's it. Mike. 637 is the total. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. You too. Yeah, I'll go back. Thank you. First time I tipped um, the cashier at um, Starbucks, but they seem pretty cool with me having a camera here. Um, my first time really having my camera out in a public place. Uh, I did think I did it at the, like the dollar store one time, but I feel pretty comfortable here. So I just want to pay attention so I can get my uh, drink. <laughs> my promo latte. But, yeah, Della was really cool, so yeah, please visit the Starbucks. Uh, they will treat you right, get you right. So, let me focus. I get a stopper. Yeah. And thank you, Olive. You forgot my name. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I haven't been coming in as much, but it's now okay. I'm starting to come back. So. Yeah. I saw you. It's been probably a couple of months. Yeah. Yeah. It's always good to see you. You too. Thank you. Yeah. All right. You too. Um, hot grande. And now I'm going back home. That was a successful trip as far as like going into an establishment. Um, I mean, if I want to be a real YouTuber, I'm gonna have to start doing stuff like that. So that was a uh, uh, a big hurdle for me to get over today but they're so nice in there so really um yeah please support all right I pressed something on the back but now i'm back so yeah i was saying uh make sure you stop into the starbucks on longwood and uh hundred Longwood and 103rd. Yeah, Dallas, she's really cool. So, I'm just going back home with my Starbucks. And I got a few other things to film for this week's video. And then I got to get to editing. So, yeah, after today, I don't want to film anymore. I just want to edit from this evening on. But I do have a few more things to edit. Or, or to film and then add it uh, the part about um, Israel and the bubbles to get that reframe and the other uh, painting and the steak <laughs> the birthday steak I am going to be making a cake uh, for myself this weekend my mom offered to make me a cake but she's making my brother one so I'm just gonna do my uh, Shelly's Florida citrus cake. So you're gonna see me do that possibly 
or that may be in next week's not really sure how I'm gonna do it uh, but hopefully you'll see that this week if not you'll see it next week uh, I'm not making the cake till Friday till tomorrow though so that may be in next week's video but I just want to let you know that I am doing that so that um, and my brother uh, the cake that my mom is making for my brother he's not picking that up till tomorrow so we will both have <laughs> uh, lemon cakes uh, he'll have the traditional and the famous Benny's lemon cake and I will just have my mediocre uh, well it's pretty good uh, but not as good as my mom's uh, Florida citrus cake all right train is going by let's get that on camera well I see the train but it's not moving and if it is moving it's moving pretty slow so I'm gonna go ahead and cross Now we're back at home. All right. All right, the only thing keeping me from finishing this is I just want to clean the glass. And we got some double-sided tape just to make sure I position this picture the way it's supposed to be. Let's get this glass clean. That's the that's the toughest part right here. I'm gonna just wet it down first and clean both sides. And it's got a little <laughs> sparkle. Grab some newspaper, ball, ball it up. Some double sided tape. And I'm just gonna double it up and make sure that this uh, sticks. All right, and we have our frame. Just gonna move this back. Free. Let's get the little boy in. <laughs> it's not really sticking the way it should, but it's at least going to be where it's supposed to be. And we have some paper to back it and keep it firm. it and I'm gonna have to of course put something to hang it up with but there we have it, it looks good I like it the colors <laughs> uh, yeah so Israel in the bubbles and I'll show you this once I get it hung, this one is done and we have one more to do. So let's go ahead and do that one now. This one right here, but just to secure it in here. Uh, there's no glass for this one. So let me get the backing for this frame. Now I could have put glass in it if I wanted to. There is a glass that came with this, but um, I just want to go ahead and I'm not going to need this piece of cardboard because that canvas is pretty thick. Uh, so, go ahead and put this back in. This one already has a place for us to hang it. Get this in there the right way. Alright. 
get this secure. It's pretty good. And there we go, this one is ready. So we got both of our pictures ready to be hung. So let's get those hung. So, <laughs> and this one is temporary. I'm actually going to be giving this one to my uh, niece when I go up there for Thanksgiving, but I'm gonna hang it on the wall until then. And yeah, I'm gonna give this to her uh, for her um, birthday. Um, it's in December, but uh, yeah, since I'm going for Thanksgiving, I'll give it to her then. Since I'm gonna be taking this um, photograph to my niece in the future i just decided to leave it here and you saw i hung the other picture up but this one it doesn't have anything in the back to hang it up with so um, i'm just going to um, add some wire um, with these little screws so when i do that i'll be done with the both photos